Uncle Mark here. Welcome back, friends, to the channel. We're going to work on my iPhone 50 uh, looking at the taillight bulbs. If you ever had a brake light go out, wondering how to change them, don't bother bringing it to the garage. You can do it. Just going to cost you a couple bulbs. You might need a couple of tools, but you'll use them again. We'll put uh, a link in the description uh, later on, way down to the bottom there, to some little sockets. You just basically need an 8 millimeter socket and a, a ratchet. I bet you if you are really desperate and you had a pair of pliers, you could probably do it just with a pair of pliers. And enjoy the video. It's going to be easy to do. So with the tailgate open, you'll see there's a couple little bolts here on the top one and the bottom. So you just need some kind of a little ratchet, socket and a ratchet, eight millimeter bolt. So you'll need some metric tools. If you just got a really cheap set, just make sure it's got eight millimeter socket in it because a lot of times some of the sets either start from maybe 10 up or something like that and they don't get out to eight unless it's a small set. Just basically pull this to the back. You gotta be gentle, you know, pry it on both sides and there you go, it pops out. Just make sure you're pulling it straight back. If you pull it to the side, you can break one of those little things off and then just unscrew these bulbs. This bottom one's a tough one to get out. They turn counterclockwise. This one is gonna be a hard thing to do. The middle one, which is your backup light, and then don't forget the top one too. So pop them out. There's your lens. Put it somewhere where you're not going to break it if you're doing something like this. If you need to take these bulbs out separately. Otherwise, it could just hang there if you're just replacing one bulb. The top and the bottom are the same. They can go in either way. Most of these new bulbs are like that now. So if we look at it really close, it's a 3057. So that's your brake signal, running light. It's the top one and the very bottom one. They're a lot bigger than this middle one here. Take a look at this one. And the reverse bulb here, it is a, it's a 921 according to the book. I could not see it on the bulb at all. And here's the bottom one. Same as the top, it's that same number, uh, the 3057. Now, if you'd be looking in your owner's manual, I thought look under B for bulbs, right? No, nope. I'd look under H for headlamps, and then there was a bulb specification, kind of a subheading under the headlamps, and then it gave you all your bulb numbers. It was actually in the maintenance part of the book too, so if you're looking for your bulbs and you have a Ford F-150, this is a 2013, um, and you can't find bulbs in the index, look under headlamps, even though this isn't a headlamp, and it'll show you all your other lights, the bulb numbers. Then you just stick them back in. They go clockwise this time. Just make sure you have the lens right side up. It goes in there. This one is a little tougher to put in, and not much room to turn it. I guess the guys that designed it liked more the way they look from the back outside than trying to put them together on the inside here. I guess it's something you're not doing every day. So Now there's little pins here you're going to have to line up to put this back in. I'll show you what they look like. There's some in the back. Make sure your wires aren't pinched. And there's some in the front. So right down there, there's a little square one. Up here there's a little pin, plastic pin. And you'll see uh, they go into those little holes. And the same with here, these little guide pins. Plastic ones is another one. Goes in the top and the bottom. Just take your time. It's not rocket science, thank goodness, because I wouldn't be doing it if it was. And push it against kind of the body too, and then give her a little push towards the front. Make sure everything's lining up. And then we're gonna do the bolts. And it's just the reverse of what you were doing before. 
this might be a good time just to maybe check to make sure they all work before you put your bolts back in. Just make sure nothing's binding. Remember, you're turning into plastic, so snug. Uh, don't over tighten it because you'll either strip it or you might break the light. Wouldn't want to do that. I imagine this is fairly expensive. And tighten the bottom one too. Again, just snug it up. Make sure the light is going in properly. Everything should really self center. But... And that's it. I'm going to just double check it, close the tailgate to make sure everything's good. You want to make sure everything's, you have a park light. Uh, I might need the keys, I'm not sure. Park lights will work without the key. There they go. Uh, but maybe the brake light, I'm not sure. Well, reverse light for sure. So that's brake lights, which will be your signal lights also. And there's your backup light. Everything works. We're good. You could easily do this with a couple tools. Those tools are going to cost you less than labor. So that saved a bunch of time, didn't it? it? Saved you driving down to your garage, waiting as they do it, plus they have to do it, and bring it back home. By then the thing is done. Plus you have some tools for next time. If you liked the video, give me the thumbs up. Uh, you can subscribe down in the corner if you haven't already. Check out some of my playlists too. I'll put a F-150 playlist up in the corner here just because that's probably what you're driving. If you just stumbled across it, just trying to figure out tail lights in general, Take a look at the rest of the channel. There's a whole bunch of other stuff on different vehicles. Till next time, you and your family stay safe. Uncle Mark saying bye-bye for now. Remember to be safe. Your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Plus, please subscribe. And you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Uncle, Uncle Mark here, welcome back.